Hey, it's Dian with me, Shubham from Blender File, and today we have is the anisotropic node, and um, well, that's I guess another big node. And let's begin. Open up a new Blender File, and I'm gonna drag down this thing to zero, and uh, yeah, press Shift A and Shader, and you have the um, you know anisotropic node. You can just add. In. And yeah, I've already done a small screen setup, uh, so it's basically a UV sphere and flat and top. I can just delete some of these things unnecessary. Uh, well, boom, boom, oops, oops, okay, um, that's it. Oh, uh, some more weirdness. Okay, uh, so that's looking good. Let's begin. Okay, so you can see there is actually nothing to be seen at all. <laughs> so now, first thing first is the distribution, and you know what distribution is. And also, GGX is mostly the best. And then we have a color, it gives the color, you know, we'll just go through it in a sec. And then there's the roughness. So, uh, roughness is, makes the surface rough. So, you know, the more the roughness is, the more, you know, uh, this anisotropic will be visible so it's just like the roughness of the gloss shader okay. then there is an isotropy so uh, an isotropy is actually bending the light to reflect towards one direction only okay uh, so uh, an isotropy of one will uh, make it you know reflect only towards one specific direction with a very minute change and an isotropy of you know something very close to zero so for example will make it very much like uh, and diffusing so 0.2 3 things like that so that's giving a nice and nice dropping metal right and this color is like very shitty color okay so that's looking better so and then there is the rotation rotation is actually rotating the nice tropy and the axis of rotation is basically this tangent value which goes in as the input so if it is not there then blender automatically generates one like that and uh, yeah so that's rotation and nitrotropy and uh, nice value of an anisotropy is 0.9 or it's actually between the range of 0.75 to 0.9 those things give really nice looking you know hmm okay uh, so it's hmm, basically a bit weird really depends upon your scene mostly so I see is 0.3 to 0.5 is a nice value. You can use that, but it basically depends upon your scene. Then there's the normal, and you know what normal is. Okay, uh, so anyways, that is basically the anisotropic. Um, I guess I got too fast, so let's just give a summary of it once again. <laughs> so uh, the distribution, you know what it is? Color, it gives a color to it. And the roughness, it is the glossy roughness. The more the roughness is, the smoother will be the reflections. Okay, and isotropy, the higher the value, the sharper will be the you know direction of reflection. The smaller values, the more will be spread. And rotation rotates along the axis, which is given by this tangent. And you can add, use it as a vector. So uh, that's basically it for the isotropic shader. Okay, uh, if you want to see a nice tutorial where you can actually use the anisotropic to make a very nice render, I recommend you watch the tutorial by Andrew Pricey where he has used the anisotropic node. So we'll have a link over here and you can see the link in the description as well. So uh, that concludes the tutorial and if you have some suggestion or query, uh, write it in the comment section and uh, if you learned something. Uh, do like it and you can follow us on facebook page at facebook.com slash blend file and do subscribe to see our next tutorials so till then happy blending and see ya